sense in a second. Just sit down. You're going to want to. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming here on short notice. I know that, you know, stuff's been kind of tough ever since Tim was uh, <clears throat> taken from us, but um, we're going to move on however we can. And I brought um, to my friend Tony, who says he has some insight on what happened with Tim. So, Tony, take it away. <laughs> Um, so I met Tim in around middle school, but like, we, didn't, we didn't really talk much back then until like a couple months ago when he asked me uh, to learn how to play drums. You play for the school, right? Well, yeah, that's why he asked me. Um, but um, he, he was pretty good. He was, he was good, but uh, he only showed up to like what, like five of the rehearsals that we actually did? I mean, the, the band director thought he was good, but I mean, like, if you don't show up, you're not going to get in the spot or anything. But uh, the last one we had was around Christmas, but afterwards, he went missing. <clears throat> Thank you, Tony. I know it's hard for you to talk about Tim since he's missing, but it really means a lot to me. Um, Tony, what I'm about to tell you, you can't go tell the police. The police are already looking for him, like, they have to know this. Tony, on December 27th, Tim was found dead in the house. Nobody knows about it except for all the people in this room. Wait. So you brought me here to mock me? No, Tony, that's not what I'm Son of a bitch! 